Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as Portugal. Alright, so I have a little bit of bad news. Um, I just actually recorded this part, and it didn't take for some stupid reason, so now I have to redo it. So, yay. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and make some quick mentions. I don't have any names on me, but thank you for everyone who's posting in the comments and correcting me. Um, I'm not the civil, I don't have the civil PD in my head, so um, there was some stuff that I was incorrect about, like the uh, penalty on flat terrain. I think it was 15% at one time, but now it's 10% as I found out, and my speech macro was accidentally running, so it did stuff I didn't want to do. Um, but anyway, anywho, uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue on. And, uh... I hope that it's... I, I really had fun with Barbarian, so it's kind of nice to start over, but at the same time annoying, but it's just fine. Um, I actually want you to immediately take care of this encampment. That house has been built. Wow, so the AI apparently doesn't change very much. Um, you're safe there. Yeah, and that's really annoying, you jerk. Build a farm. You guys do it. Okay, so, um, I'm actually going to do something a little bit earlier. I realized that, um, see, settlers are actually less time to build than workers. But settlers are more expensive to buy. So it's actually better to buy workers, um, compared to doing, compared to, uh, just keeping them. Also, I can go for a lighthouse eventually, or buying a workboat. And if we look at the production times, we have six turns and nine turns. Um, this isn't, see, 111 compared to 75, that's like, that's not that big of a deal, so bu buying a workboat is better. Um, let's get that done. Man, you took so much damage from taking out, like, one, barely any barbarian. Can't even count him as one. All right, so now we have the adopt a policy. Um, hopefully, I'm also going to get the oracle built. So more food. Um, come back out here. Build the farm. Uh, so, what policy am I going to get? Um, I'm thinking representation. The Golden Age now will help me get to the Oracle done faster so I can get my last policy. And how it works is each city you found will increase the culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal. I believe it's 30%, so this basically dropped it down to 20%, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, especially since I, I'm planning to you have a rapid expansion on this side of the continent and eventually down if I can. But I need to make sure I stay around stuff that can make me happy. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do this. I also want to rush for finishing Liberty so I can get a uh, great engineer. Oh, my science is really low. Why is it so low? Last time it was higher. Why is that?
just finish them off the old fashioned way. You come here because you'll heal faster. Huh. Parthenon has been built in the faraway land. Um, I don't even have that tech yet, but it doesn't seem that great. Um, a great work of art in the great work slot is very, is quite nice. I think. I don't know. I mean, I've never actually used it, but the culture four is nice. Um, it's kind of mixed between the oracle and the uh, other one. By the way, does the oracle still give the base culture? Yeah, and the great scientist point, which is nice. I uh, found a new religion of Islam in one of their cities. So they got a reformation belief. I wonder if that's a new ability. Actually, that probably is, what is it, Byzantine? The Byzantine Empire? Anyway, right, we're going to get meritocracy. You know, none of my cities are connected. The reason why I'm getting it is because uh, I want a great engineer. So I can rush build Petra once I get it. So I won't have to worry about doing that anymore. Also, the lighthouse gives a plus one production now, which is amazing. Yeah, do that. Uh, great person, great engineer. And uh, they now tell you how much production you're going to get by hurrying production, which is quite nice. And I, I realized that um, it's actually not worth it in early games. It's probably better to plop them down because um, it does it doesn't really do that. Um, well, you don't, you don't max it out, basically. Like, I, I've got... I've got enough pop to uh, automatically max out the production. Hello. Bye bye. Um, you know what? Let's get the fence first. Build a pasture. And turn. Okay. Yeesh. Actually, well, no, don't do it because he's just going to uh, raise if we just if we do that. So let's not. Let's try not wounding them until I'm ready to actually engage. See if they if they bother to raise stuff. They might, which will suck. But then again, not preparing to do so. At least not yet. Nope, they still raise. Okay, well, we're going to have you attack because this guy won't get any help that way.
medieval era. Yeah, I know. I need to get my cities up and start boosting my science. Okay, next up, horseback riding. So that's a nice boost to these hill tiles. Um, let me see, hill tiles definitely worth it. Let's see. Wipe out, wipe out. Okay, well, I'd like the XP for just you. So attack, make sure we wipe him out. And the reason why is you only, can only get up to uh, 30 experience from killing barbarians. Uh, otherwise, you don't get any. And we have our first caravan, and caravans are completely defenseless. So I can either send him to... Um... Oh, we can change the home city. Uh, but having it in my capital is probably the best. Okay, so because I have access to all of these resources and stuff, I get a lot of gold. Wow. And this should be clear. Um, I'm going to actually send you to fog bust over here and I'm gonna have you build us one more spearman So I'm still not sure exactly how the whole dynamic works, but I'm assuming that he can still be captured. Or at least maybe even destroyed. We need to heal up and then we're going to have you go take care of that other encampment. Heard that. Oh, that was probably my caravan, actually. Oh, this is stupid. I don't get the plus one faith from desert tiles simply because Christianity or Protestantism has sprung up and it's not the majority reli religious belief. That's dumb. It's like, it's it's still my pant. They need to fix that. Nice, though. We've got the, uh, we've got a little bit of spread. That'll bring in a little bit more income. Oh, no. Why are there so many barbarians down here? I was gone for a minute. <laughs> Please don't tell me he like dead dead. Do we just have to get him off of it? I guess we're gonna find out. Jeez. But I just cleared this area out not too long ago and there's already... Oh gosh darn it. We got the great prophet. Um, yeah, enhanced religion. All right, so I went for a religious community because plus one percent production is great. Like my cap, my capital already gets six percent production. 
um, and this gets up to 15%. And that's that's pretty good all around. I, I'm gonna have enough faith, I believe, because I've already got 16 faith in this game, which is more than enough. And then uh, we're gonna have religious texts, so uh, religion spreads faster. Although the holy order, holy order is also in, nice too, but the uh, faster spreading is good. I have enough faith where I can afford uh, a little costier, believe or. Uh, Look, stuff that costs a little bit more. There we go. Now it's back, right? Yeah. Just needed to grow again. Gosh darn it. Oh, actually, you're screwed, aren't you? There's no way. Oh, I should have put him in the water. I am an idiot. I should be able to get him back, though. Or he could move there. And you only have one promotion. And regardless, we have to attack him. Twice. Whoa, hello. Gosh darn it, you have to finish that. Um Granary. So I seriously lost Gosh darn it, this sucks. Okay. Let's get the settler, go let's get a settler going. And go for ironworking. Okay, so having at least him on this sheep should be enough to fog bust the entire area. So I shouldn't have to worry about barbarians as much. As soon as I get this cotton, I should see about selling it too. Uh, boom. Do nothing. Build farm. Is the following trade of it? Because uh, he asks for it. Ironically, though, I think he's going to get it really soon. So if if I can't sell it to him now, that's dumb. Oh, I need to meet new people. That's what I need to do. Uh, we've got all of that. Wow, production is skyrocketing. Um, let's get a caravan going. That'll 
That'll be enough of a fog buster there. I trust you are a friend to Liberty. Oh, he has enough Go money ahead. too. There. Okay, we're losing a substantial amount. Let's see, what is the best deal? Probably the worker, and I'd like one more. Although the stable is preferable. Um, we are running low on the gold. Yeah, a city, a city somewhere down here is right, but I want one up here first. Alert! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's weak. You won't be able to do anything. Move there, but you're gonna die there. I like this position, it's close enough to the stone. It interlap it overlaps with uh with wait. Wait, 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 what? I'm like two away here. Oh, was I going to go here then? I think I was going to go here. I get the stone. These two are going to overlap at the wheat. But otherwise, I'll have no overlap. So I think this is the best location. Plus, I'll immediately get the three happiness, which is good. This is, this is almost a, this is technically a no happiness city because it does not give me a, a unique luxury resource. But also, putting it up here is good because uh, it... Minimizes contact with the other cities over here as well as leaves more room over here. It's only the horses are in range from there. You're perfectly safe. Okay, you. Um, yeah, we need the stable in the market. We need, like, everything. Uh, but let's get the stable first. We have enough production. This will be a nice little boost in production. Um, I'm actually getting positive money now. And we'll go up once I settle this city. City that even out the happiness, which is nice. Uh, build me the monument. We get our culture up because we went from ten turns to ten turns. That's great. Um, I don't care. Then that's, that's really nice. But you guys don't have a religion yet. Right? Yeah. So Washington doesn't have a religion yet. Let's see, how much for a great profit? 750 compared to purchasing it with faith, which is 300. So it's half the cost, probably about half the ability to convert. But um, cheap is also good. And I can just get some open borders, hit Washington and New York and sandwich Boston. Um, and then we get our religion set in there and we'll have as much to worry about. Um, he'll probably like me more. Oh, I need a scout. That's also what I need. Let's just go ahead and clear out this area down here first, I guess. 
Well, I'm going to cut the video off here, so thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.